dog out when I had um, cancer and Don't stuff. Be because you I would put the door open. Are, I would put the door. Are you kidding me? I would. A homophobic tirade right in front of our camera, hurled at a man just trying to keep his neighborhood clean. Ted News reporter Bree Steffen is live in University Heights, and Bree, what you captured is just jaw dropping. It really was. I'm still kind of shocked at what I saw today. And this is the last place that you would expect something like that to happen. This is known, University Heights is known as being a very gay friendly neighborhood, but the homophobic slurs are flying down on Florida Street. Absolutely. And, and the dog kept dumb coming. Because she brought the because news to my house. Come hey, you don't you record me, me, fat boy. I'm on the side. I'm out there and whoop your. Hey, come on out here! Derogatory and threatening words, all directed at Blake Peterson. A loose dog off leash chasing dog. He confronted them yesterday because he says their dogs are never on leashes. They didn't take it well. This man shoving Blake's phone down and calling him a gay slur. That I, as a professional manager, would approach someone about their dog being off leash on the street and be called and every other name in the book. His friend Amy saw the whole thing too. You're in the wrong part of town, first of all. We tried to confront the owners, and this man started it all up again. Call him a again. Call him a again. This went on for 10 minutes. His girlfriend defended them, saying he was off his meds and their dogs are trained. The dog does not have to be on a leash. Okay, so what do you think about the things that he's been screaming at it's Blake? I'm sorry, Blake. <laughs> it's terrible, Blake. I'm sorry. He shouldn't be yelling at you like that. I'm sorry. But the apology falls flat for Blake. He calls this hate speech and says they don't belong here. I want to see them move. I want them out of the neighborhood. Clearly, they have not done their homework because if they have a problem with gay people, they should not be living in this neighborhood because we're not going anywhere. Blake originally made a police report and is also thinking about filing a restraining order after today. A judge will decide if this is considered a hate crime. Reporting live in University Heights, Bree Steffen, 10 News. Wow, shocking. Thank you, Bree.